first thing that made me want to play music was seeing Jimi Hendrix really smash his guitar, set fire to it and all that. When he died, there was an item on the news and uh, I, I watched it with awe in my eyes and I said to my father, any chance I can have a guitar, Dad? And he said, uh, okay, uh, right, be just like your action man, you'll play with it once and put it down. I said, no, 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 I think uh, this is something I really want to do. And um, the fool, he bought me a guitar, so it was his fault, really. I was quite lucky. I had two elder brothers that were constantly playing rock music in front of me when I was really young. It kind of inspired me to try and work out what they were doing. And I was extremely lucky that my parents also uh, started, started me off on the piano, but I soon discovered I wanted to be a guitar player. So I said, can I have a guitar? Same as you. And uh, they bought me an acoustic guitar and I used to sit on the dining room table trying to work out what these other guys were playing, which was quite difficult at the time, but um, I've nearly got it. If I wasn't a musician, I would have carried on doing what I do for the other side of my life, which is studio. Qualified as a sound engineer. I used to work with all sorts of people, which was really good fun. I think I'd still do that. We've both been using uh, the Black Star S1 100 Watt. They're very, very good, um, very solid. Have all the, the kind of things that a good on the road amplifier, working amplifier needs, which is they're very, very solidly built and they sound loud lots of rich bottom end and there's lots of tonal variation. Uh, it's changed the way I, uh, I use an amplifier on stage now. I, I wouldn't generally have used a four channel amp but this thing is so brilliant. It gives you so many options. I'm starting to use it more and more and it has some fantastic features on it. The American versus British sound, the ISF and that feature alone is remarkably useful in certain rooms, they can sound very different. And that ability to just to be able to tweak that so it sits in just the right place is fantastic. The other really useful thing is the, uh, the power control where you can set your amp up exactly as you want it and then use this power button to vary for the size of the venue. You know, arenas whack it right up and into the smaller clubs, you tone it down a bit, but it doesn't change the overall color of the sound, which I find absolutely brilliant. I'm a bit of a fan, I have to say. It does everything that you expect it to and a bit more. I kind of expected to be disappointed by it because I've been disappointed by other amplifiers before. So many kind of promise to be great and then don't. When I first plugged into one, I thought, oh, look at that, there it is. The thing about the Blackstar amp is it allows me complete tonal freedom across the spectrum from ultra clean to very dirty and everything in between. It responds beautifully to the guitar. The guitar still controls most of what I do, so where I'm on the volume pot and how that communicates with the amplifier is very important. Some amplifiers don't give you that, it's almost like they're playing you, but with the Black Star, what I find is that wherever I'm on, on, on the volume spectrum of my guitar, it, the amp will always respond accordingly. If I turn it down, it will clean up without losing any character. If I turn it up, it's a really fierce, nasty, in-your-face overdrive and very full. It doesn't lose anything either when you turn it up very loud. Everything tonally moves up as it should like that, and back again. What I find great with the Black Stars is you know, the difference between a Gibson Les Paul Custom and a Stratocaster is it's a vast difference in tonal characteristics. And you stick a Telecaster in the middle of that, I can pick up any of those three and all three will sound great through the amp. A bit like Luke, all they've changed now, I'm, I'm a pop player, I don't use pedals, I don't even have a bicycle, so I just don't use them. So it's very important, as Luke said, to how the amp responds to where your volume pot is. It absolutely nails it every time. And the extra little feature is fantastic. For the first time ever, I've got a recording out on a uh, amplifier that's usable. Great safety for a front house guy and uh, great for recording. You've got another option in case there are any problems with a mic. You know, what's not to like? There's one kind of little pearl of wisdom that you've picked up in all the years doing it. The one that's probably served us the best is be absolutely true to yourself. 